Good morning, you guys. News 19 spoke with Ellen Jimerson as she reflected on hearing about the news of Ortega, the man accused of uh, convicted of killing her daughter in a car crash, was killed was killed in while serving his sentence. She says she forgave Ortega well before he pleaded guilty. In 2009, Leanne Jimerson died when Felix Ortega's vehicle crashed into the one she was in at the intersection of Airport Road and Wintersburg Drive. The teen's boyfriend. Tad Maddle was also killed in the crash. Jimerson tells News 19 she didn't feel any anger or hostility towards Ortega, but often reflected on Ortega's sentence and claims police never acknowledged their role in the result in the pursuit that resulted in the fire crash. All the blame was put on Felix Ortega. He was undocumented and he apparently was drunk. I think there were also other issues that may have come into play. But none of the none of the burden was placed on the police officer. None. We didn't hear from them that night. We didn't hear from them at any point since then. Prosecutors said Ortega had a blood alcohol level well past the legal limit at the time of the crash. But Ortega's defense attorney, Ron Smith, says Ortega was remorseful from the time of his arrest to the day he was sentenced. He basically wanted to to do the right things and uh, did not did not want to dodge responsibility and um, it was just a it was just a good example and forgiveness um, from the family that we saw um, he he accepted responsibility asked for forgiveness and they they welcomed that and and accepted it and, and forgave him for what had happened even though their daughter was taken from them Ortega was set to be released from prison in 2025, but the conditions leading up to his death are still unclear. The Alabama Department of Corrections said he was found unresponsive in the common area of the Elmore Correctional Facility and was transported to a local health hospital where he was later pronounced dead. Reporting live this morning, Mariah Wiggs, News 19.